Households are being warned to spend or bank all their round pound coins before October, when they will cease to be legal tender. They will be phased out from March 28, when the new 12-sided one pound coin hits the streets, the government has announced. And around the same time, new coin designs will start appearing in the shops, including a Jane Austen 2 pounds and a 5-0p celebrating Sir Isaac Newton. About 1.3 billion pounds worth of coins are stored in change jars up and down the country, and the current one pound coin accounts for nearly a third of that, the government said. Households must copper up and either spend or deposit them before October 15th or lose out. Replacing one pound notes, one pound coins were first launched on April 21st, 1983. The Royal Mint has produced more than 2.2 billion round pound coins since that time. But there have been concerns about round pounds being vulnerable to sophisticated counterfeiters. Around one in every 31 pound coins in people's change in recent years has been fake. The new one pound coin, which resembles the old threepenny bit, has been hailed as the most secure coin in the world, with features including a hologram. Some of the round one pound coins returned by the public will be melted down and reused to make the new one pound coin, which was announced in the 2014 budget. Also arriving in the spring, the Royal Mint has announced a two pounds coin design that will remember the Royal Flying Corps and its contribution to the defense of Britain's skies in the First World War using new aircraft technology. In 1918 the Royal Flying Corps became the Royal Air Force. And a Jane Austen two pounds coin will celebrate the pride and prejudice and sense and sensibility author, 200 years after her death. A Sir Isaac Newton 5-0 P coin will mark the achievements of one-time master of the Royal Mint whose wide-ranging work paved the way for the introduction of the gold standard system for valuing a nation's currency. The new one-pound coin is made of two metals, with a gold-colored outer ring and a silver-colored inner ring. It has an image that changes from a pound symbol to the number one when the coin is seen from different angles. It also has very small lettering on both sides of the coin and milled edges. It will feature the flora of the four nations of the UK emerging from a coronet and is thinner and lighter than the round pound but its diameter is slightly larger. Announcing the date when the new coin will enter circulation, Chief Secretary to the Treasury David Gawkey said, March 28th should be an important date in everybody's calendar this year, as we will have a new quid on the block. This is a historic moment as it's the first time we've introduced a new one down coin since 1983, and this one will be harder to counterfeit than ever before. Our message is clear, if you have around one down coin sitting at home or in your wallet, you need to spend it or return it to your bank before October 15. Businesses handling cash have been planning and preparing for the new coins. Helen Dickinson, CEO of the British Retail Consortium, said there will be a transition period during which some vending systems may only be able to accept the old coin. She said, through the British Retail Consortium, most major UK retailers have been engaged in discussions and planning with the Royal Mint and Her Majesty's Treasury since the March 2014 announcement that a new pound coin would be introduced in 2017. Our aim is to ensure that the implementation of the new coin runs as smoothly as possible for our customers and staff. Our combined input into the project means we're confident the new coin will address the issue of counterfeit coins for businesses and the general public alike, and will prove highly secure for customers to use. While there will be a natural transition period where some vending systems may only be able to accept the existing pound coin, our industry is committed to ensuring we're fully prepared ahead of the launch in March. Association of Convenience Stories Chief Executive James Lohman said, the introduction of a new one pound coin is a positive step toward taking counterfeit coins out of circulation. It is essential that retailers are prepared for the introduction of the new one pound coin, as the transition is likely to affect a number of areas of their business especially if they have coin operated machines such as self-service tills in store. We encourage retailers to make use of the guidance provided by the Royal Mint and to speak to their suppliers of coin-operated machines as soon as possible to make the transition as smooth as possible for consumers.